Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to... Wait a minute. This is not Crayler Made. Welcome to the vlog channel. I know, I never post here, but I've just had this urge to vlog lately. I think maybe it's because, you know, we're all stuck inside and I'm fantasizing about the fun adventures that I wish I was having right now and that reminds me of vlogging? You know what, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's get into the vlog. I've been brushing up on my potato jet. He posted this video about every Sony menu option. Because you guys may not know this, but I'm actually going through a pretty major gear transition right now. I just switched from a Panasonic G7 to a completely new Sony camera rig. Uh, the Sony a7 III is my main shooter, and this here is the Sony a6600. So now I have a B cam, which I'm so excited about, and it's been so awesome to go full frame. Yeah, uh, this has been a lot. So many gear changes and like shuffling and switcheroos happening and I actually have this here. Oh boy, anyone who does videos and is into gear knows this light, the Aperture 120D Mark II. I just got this in recently and I used it in my last video, but it was just a background light because I didn't have the softbox yet. And, and you guys, the, the softbox to this thing is huge. Like this is a small room and the, the softbox is absolutely massive. It feels like it just takes up the entire room. But all that to say, I've been thinking about this new shot and I really want to try it. Uh, first though, I've uh, got some uh, cleaning to do. So here's the idea. I want to try setting up a table right there and then shooting in this direction and having this as the background. Now obviously I know it's a little bit busy right now, but the idea is kind of from this angle have a table right here and I'm sitting at the table having that, you know, sit down and chat type of format. I told you guys, do you see the size of this thing in this tiny little room? I mean, this thing is massive, like really, really looks ridiculous with the size of this little space I have to work with, but is it gonna work for the shot? Well, let's find out. Well, I basically ended up shifting the mess from one side of the room to the other, but I feel like that's just how it goes in the world of video and production and sets. You know, there's always one side of the room that's clean and the other side is a mess. Only, well, this is now the background. So I'm gonna have to clean that up, but before I focus on any of that, I just wanna know how is this how is this gonna work? So, uh, this is a shot. What do you guys think? I know we've got some work to do. We gotta get a nicer table and we gotta clean the background up. I get it, it's busy, but mainly what I wanted to figure out today was does the lighting work and does the lens work with this room? And I think we have our answer. I think the answer is absolutely yes. I mean, we got so much room here, and I don't know if you guys realize just how small this room is. I know on my other camera, on the a6600, you probably can see that it feels like a really tight and confined space, but that's just the magic of sensor size and lens millimeters and, and all this technical stuff. It can get you something really cool like this. So I'm super happy with this look I'm getting. I've always wanted to get that really moody lighting, dark background, you know, just super soft, tasteful light, uh, and the, the moody, dark, kind of blackout look in the background. So this is really cool. But you know, there's been something on my mind lately that I wanted to talk about, and you know, it, it doesn't fit on any of my other channels, and it's just a personal thing that's been bothering me that 
I feel like I need to get out. And that's during this whole time when we're all at home and we're exercising caution and we're doing social distancing and all that stuff. I hope you guys realize that the media is not a news source, not like they used to be. The media is entertainment. So when all these headlines are just doing these things to try and scare you and, and showing you pictures of you know lungs with the virus and, and all this stuff, they're trying to scare you. And I, I know, I know some of you are saying, oh, oh, here we go. This is, you know, this is the guy. This, you, me, <laughs> you're the reason that this virus is spreading. But I want to encourage you and say that's not why I'm saying this. I am not the one that's just going out, being reckless. You know, I'm following the recommendations, the six feet distancing, wearing a mask when necessary to keep everybody safe. I am doing that. But what I'm saying is, if we're ever going to start inching towards life as normal, we have got to stop sitting in front of our TVs, scrolling on our phones, just being so scared by everything the media is telling us because you have to realize that the media is entertainment and their job is to keep you scrolling, clicking, watching because they make money when you do that. You know, just like I make money from ads on my other channel, the media makes money from ads that play, you know, commercials, ads on the website. That's how they make their money. And if they said, hey, you know what? Americans are doing a great job with the social distancing. We are starting to get America back. Well, why would you keep reading? You'd be like, that's awesome. I'm gonna exercise caution and maybe I'm gonna go take a walk or maybe I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I've been needing to do that. But instead, they're just saying, you know, oh, look at this picture of a, a lung with with the virus and and we're, we're sitting in front and we're scrolling and oh, that looks really bad. And oh, this other site, you know, they have more pictures and, and oh, look at this headline that, you know, there's still cases happening. So my encouragement to you guys is do something Thing to get out and be safe. Don't defy your local regulations. Make sure you're practicing social distancing. Wear a mask if it makes you comfortable. But never in this whole time where we've been asked to stay at home and, and distance, never have we been told that we can't exercise or we can't get out and go for a walk. So just please go take a walk even in your backyard. Just go outside, get some sunlight, exercise, maybe, you know, find a spot for a hammock and, and put your hammock up and just chill out and relax. And you know what? I am going to do exactly that right now. My brother and I are gonna go over to a park that is open. Don't worry, it's open. We are allowed to be there. And we're just gonna go hang out, get some fresh air and have some fun. Let's do it. So yeah, as you guys saw, uh, that main trail that we wanted to go to is full, blocked off, can't go there, so sad. But uh, we're checking another part of the park. This is a huge state park. So we're gonna see if there's any other areas open. All right, here we are. Check out this beautiful background. Yeah, man, just getting some fresh air. So we couldn't exactly find a trail to walk on like we hoped and woo, it's windy. But uh, we couldn't exactly find a trail to go on and hammock and do this whole glorious thing that we hoped we could do. But we are still just enjoying some fresh air, enjoying the view. We got Zach over here. So many to roll. Nice to just get outside. Sweet, so now we are up, up and away. We are going to the walking trail that we know for sure is open. This was fun to just stop, get out, look at the lake, explore nature just a little bit. But now we are uh -oh. going to Ranger. take a real walk. Uh-oh, get pwned. <laughs> Zach here doesn't like that Apple is releasing headphones called AirPod Studio. According to John Proster, which John Proster is never wrong, let's be honest, he just doesn't like it. He doesn't feel like it sounds like a headphones, which I guess doesn't. Yeah, I just don't think that pods 
sounds like headphones. Like to me, pods, because I've seen AirPods for years now, are little, like, and they even had ear pods before that. They're little earbuds that you put in your ears. So I don't know, it just sounds like a weird, if they're wireless, air makes sense, but I don't know, pod is just confusing to me. I kind of get it, but I, I also think it kind of fits the brand. You know, you got AirPods, HomePod, iPod. Uh, so, is, so is it the air that you got a problem with? Because everything music related from Apple is typically pod. I guess, I don't know, I guess you've changed my mind because you're right, it does fit the brand. I guess maybe like studio pods would be a little more... Um, I think so, yeah. A little more acceptable. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, what does it matter? Am I going to spend $350 on them? I don't know. Are you? Definitely not. Zach's not. I, I'm not going to say I'm not because I'm that guy who's like, no way, and then I bow down to Apple and buy it anyway. That's true. He is. <laughs> I'm a sheep. So here we are back at home, all done with the trail, all done with the outdoor adventures. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you guys enjoyed coming along with my day and you wanna see more vlogs here and there, definitely drop a comment below and let me know. I am not a vlogger by any means, but I thought, you know what? I wanted to vlog today, just have fun with it. And I think, I'm not gonna make any promises, but I think, I may push myself and try to do one vlog a week because you know I, I don't I don't want this channel to become a burden I, I want it to stay fun I want it to be my creative outlet for things that I can't do on my main channel but what do you guys think are you down with weekly vlogs definitely drop a comment below and subscribe to, ugh, I can't talk and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss when I drop new vlogs and with that said I'll catch you guys next time.